Hello, and welcome to this video. This video will be uh, one among a series of videos uh, talking about how to create websites using three basic technologies, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So, let's begin. I have, uh, I've created a list of um, things that we'll be doing throughout this video series. And where applicable, uh, I will include links to the different subjects that we'll be talking about. So, to begin with, I'll be telling you about how to build and create websites. With that, we'll be using three different technologies. We'll be using HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Uh, we'll be talking about using CSS, which is Cascading Style Sheets. And last but not least, we'll be using JavaScript. We'll go over each of these technologies. And for those of you who are interested, we will not be going over HTML version 5, but I will include that link if you want to look at that one specifically as well. So, to start with, what we'll be doing is uh, going over some of the tools that you will need to create your websites. Um, these tools are not uh, written in stone. You don't have to have them but they do help the process along a lot more quickly if you do use them and have them. So the first thing that you'll want to make sure that you have is a good text editor. And there are many of them online. There are many good ones that come with your operating system. For Windows, I believe they still have Notepad. I don't know what they have for uh, Apple machines. And for Linux, uh, depending upon your distribution, you can find a good uh, text editor there as well. Doesn't matter what type, go ahead and choose whichever one you use, and then you can go ahead and use that. Um, also, let's see, yeah, a good text editor. Where, where applicable, I will go ahead and, and include links to some, some text editors that you may want to get um, and download online. You can also choose to use integrated development uh, environment or an IDE. That's up to you if you want to go ahead and use an IDE. For these tutorials, I'll be using a simple uh, text editor. Also, in your toolbox for web development, you'll want to consider using more than one browser. There's the browser that came with your operating system. You can also include several other browsers. I encourage you to do that because each browser will see the websites a little bit differently. So again, I will go ahead and include the links to the browsers where applicable. You don't have to use these browsers, but as I said, it always helps to have a view of your website from more than one browser and all of these browsers are free in addition to the browser that comes with your system and the next thing that we want to talk about and it's very quick and simple um, is creating your environment to build your websites and, and that's simple enough me I'm using Linux Mint version 18 I forget if this is 18.1 or 18.2. I believe it's 18.2. It doesn't matter where you save your, your files. Just choose a place and put them all in one folder. Uh, the process for doing this should be similar no matter what system you're using. Usually I just go either to one of my folders or in this case, this is my desktop. So I'm just going to right click and then you'll see a menu that comes up and just create folder, give it a folder name, you know, my folder, and then go ahead and save it. To save it for me, I just press the enter button. It shouldn't be that much different for you whether or not you're on a Windows or Mac machine, okay? 
and then you just open up your folder and this is where you can save all of your files we'll be making several different types of files um, HTML files CSS files and JavaScript files to save a HTML file which will be in the next video will be you just open up your folder right click and you should see something that says create a document in that menu just left click on it you'll have that document that file and just name the file you know whatever you want to name it and then for HTML documents you'll want to use the extension HTML and then just press enter all right open it up and then from here we could just go ahead and put all of our information in here for our our web page when we when we start on our tutorial for uh, CSS which is cascading style sheets you just do the same process create a document give it a document name and then with the extension CSS and the process is exactly the same for JavaScript just right click and then give your document a name with the extension JS and that's how you create your JavaScript documents so that's it for this video I just wanted to go over a few tools that we want to uh, use and start with when we're creating our, our website so that's it for now Thank you very much for looking at this video. I hope you like and subscribe, and you have a good day.